notified the Georgia Bureau of Investigations, who took over the case of where the shit Tara went. Her courage and her smile, just the way she... So today I am making the uh, Cartrap Supreme like vegan version, which I'm super freaking stoked about because uh, I have nothing else to do. I also took off Monday, which is President's Day because Matt has it off. But so I'm making that and then I've had my juicer. It's like a Breville or some kind of brand that's like really, really good for juicers um, that I accidentally bought when I still had like a crap job and couldn't afford a juicer but I was like looking for it and accidentally clicked the like buy now thing and I thought it was on a $50 juicer and it ended up being the Breville like $150 juicer so I've been sitting on that I was really good about like making celery juice and I read into it found out it's the best if you make it and drink it right away and not like make it leave it and then drink it like you get more nutrition so I never even did the whole make a ton and then drink it later type of thing. Needless to say, the juicer has just been sitting there <laughs> for so freaking long. I'm trying to sell it and I put it up a couple weeks ago and I've had a few people reach out and I think it's like $150 regularly on Amazon and I've literally used it like four times and I've had people reach out like saying I'll give you 40 for it or something like that. I'm like, no, you won't. And then the person who reached out today, um, tried giving me a sob story of cancer or something and I'm like come on like really I mean it might be true but like don't try to play me so we'll see I don't know I am gonna wash it up though because it's just been sitting unused on my counter um, for literally like over a year oh my god oh, why does it get stuck like this it's so annoying it's like wrapped around I did get a tripod for my camera, um, like my phone, because I had one for my old, <clears throat> for my camera that I used for like video, like sit-down videos. But it's very short and the other one that I have is very tall and unrealistic, so I wanted like a happy medium and I've been filming on my phone more, so. Okay, so I just got Starbucks because I am still trying to use up the gift card that I have. And I ordered, because I'm trying to be like vegan as much as I can, but also I still have like one or two, at least one or two days left of my collagen and I'm not going to get rid of it because it's a waste. So I'm slowly working through it, but that's, the collagen is literally like the last thing. I, ha I got rid of all of my whey protein I had and collagen is the last thing. So like two days and then I'm going to be like taking it a little bit more seriously, maybe not 1000%, but I fucking order this with almond milk. It says it right there. And I see the girl making, I see the girl making something with 2% because I asked when I went up to the register, I was just like, your matcha, what do you like, what do you put into it? And she's just like, well, it's just matcha or whatever it is, all right? And 2% milk. So I was like, okay, can I have oat milk instead? She's like, well, we don't have oat milk, but we have almond milk, coconut milk, soy milk. I said, okay, almond milk. And then I saw a girl making it, not the same girl, a different girl making it and using 2% milk. And that's just fucking annoying. If I was like 1000% vegan right now and I spent six or $7 on this, whatever it is, I don't remember. And then I get it and me being new to vegan, I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna be able to tell the difference between, well, you can, 2% almond milk are like really different. An already packed line on the outside and the inside of Starbucks. You don't want to go in there and wait again. And maybe you do. You bitch them out saying I'm a vegan. I can't have this. It's 2% milk. But what's written up on the cup is almond milk. How are you going to prove it? Okay. So Matt's dumb, but also I guess considerate ass. Um, slept on the couch last night. And by last night, I mean he went to bed literally at like 9 a.m. I think. But I fell asleep on the couch, which is very annoying because... I don't know, I just want to be able to vlog and do my stuff out there and not have to worry about like him being woke up by me. 
So anyway, this is why we're filming here. That's the camera I usually use. But I got this. It's a tripod and I thought it was such a weird box for a tripod to, yeah, what a waste. I was like, maybe it's laying down flat. Literally, what a waste. Heck yeah, it's small. Hopefully I can set it up easily. Yes, bitch, that's awesome. The normal tripod I have, I don't know. See that right here, the circle? It's that over there and it's constantly up. And it's good for sit down filming videos, but like vlogging and stuff, it's just not ideal having to tote that thing around everywhere. So I wanted to get a, like a mobile tripod because this tripod I got is great for like filming yourself like this or like this. But like, if I want it set up somewhere, literally it's like four inches, so. Earl's broken, he's attached to something out there. I'll go get him in a second. Okay, so it's not bad, see? Okay, that's good. And I don't know why they always come with these things. They like turn off and on her, but whatever. I guess it's, it can be useful sometimes. But I gotta go get Earl because he is stuck. Let's go see. Tired? Hello, buddy. A model. Mr. Chunky? Where's Earl? Where's Earl at, bud? Oh, there he is. This is not where I thought he would be. I thought he would be over here, stuck on the... <sighs> That's frustrating. You haven't gotten stuck over here yet. I thought I had these. Is that pretty darn good over here? Okay. What do you want from me? Can you move? You don't want to be on the video. What time are you getting up? Hmm? No. <laughs> Babe, I got stuff to do. I love you. Cute handwriting. Are we gonna go shopping? What do you mean? To get goodies. Like what? I don't know. Valentine's Day stuff like ice cream and like treats. Like treats! I got ice cream for myself. Are you mad? <laughs> you can go get it while I make us food. Oh. What? Another task. Another task! All you did was dishes and the trash and the litter box and i love her you every did, day you did not do the litter box i did litter box um you did it halfway i did the other half you, you did, did the trash. scoop you did the easiest part of the scooping what do you mean you scooped it and put it in the trash you didn't close the bag you didn't re you didn't do a new one and you didn't take Dude, it out to the trash no, i dig for gold for like a solid 15 minutes and you closing up the bag and retying it again takes like three so i did more work and the children love you more. That's just not true. <laughs> but we'll get, we'll I, I'd, be, I'd be down for you getting wine. Do you, but what about treats though? Do we want any treats? What are you talking about treats? You want treats. I, I do. You want treats, but I don't know. I what do. what? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, pizza you know for sure. We can do that later. What, do you mean like treats like Doritos? Yeah, like something enjoyable. Snack on? Yeah. We have tortilla chips, you can get- I'm your, just super hungry, that's probably what the dip. problem is. You can get your dip. We have tortilla chips. Dip? Your cheese dip. At the gas station. Oh, very true. Oh, that sounds really good, actually. That's perfect. You're so smart. 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 With Crunchwraps. Yeah, I'll be my appetizer. Do you want me to pick anything else up when I'm at the gas station? Like a Twix or like other ice cream? No. But no, <laughs> that was a very intense no. <laughs> well, no, because I was just talking about this. I gotta show you guys too. Somebody on 
uh, YouTube that I watched said that these bars or frozen ones were really freaking good. And I saw that this one says on there plant-based. Tastes identical to a Twix, a Twix bar. So I'm not getting probably, the Twix? No, that's why I said Long story that's why short. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I said no like that because I'm so excited that I found these. I mean, granted, this box is like fucking six dollars. Anyway, do you like my tripod? Isn't it sweet, Matt? It is really cool. I do like it a lot. I like that it can literally go anywhere, and it goes up to like six foot, which is awesome. Oh, you know that chick's gonna be here at five. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like we could have just kept our other one, but. Whatever. I want everyone to see this. This is really cool. Mm. So I went to a liquor store, or it's like a bulk beverage center around where we live. And they had a special bourbon on sale that me and my buddy waited in line for, and we went and got it. But as we were, it was my first time in the store, so I was looking around, and I got these ice cube makers. They're like, oh. they make school ice cubes. They're really cool. What? I'm gonna make them right now, actually. Do it? How do you do it? Yeah, those are pretty freaking sweet. Look at, I'm stoked. This is my juicer that's been sitting on the counter. This All this crap has been sitting on our counter for over a year not being used. Or no, a, almost two years, because I think I got it when I worked at my old job before this one. And April will be two years, so I'm stoked. I don't know how this works. I'm not, I'm not getting a lot of money. Oh wait, honestly. I think you just hold it like this and you fill up each cube. Oh yeah, you're smart. I'm not. I got it on camera. Thanks. Beautiful. Wonderful.